Hi guys! Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be painting an orange. Um, this is not the typical orange. We call this dalandan. I don't know if you guys know dalandan, but I'm gonna go and get the English translation of that fruit later and you'll see that in the title of this video. So let's begin now guys and I'll be sketching first the subject and I'll be using my paints again straight away in sketching this because I think this is a relatively easy subject so you don't need to really use some pencils and be uh, stressed about this just use your paints in sketching and let's begin now guys so for this sketch I'll be using mm, green alright so get your yellow green or sap green and let's begin now So just get your green, whatever green you have, it doesn't really matter. We'll begin sketching first. So like that. This is just a sketch, so don't you worry too much. Some things can change. Um, later. Like that. And we're going to continue it here. Again, this may change later. For now, we're trying to balance um, the or to balance the picture where things are gonna go or supposed to go. So this will be the citrus peel. Again, I'm sketching quite roughly because um, we're painting a natural subject so I'm just gonna color this green since this will be the orange peel I call this orange because um, when I was a child I would still call this orange orange as long as the orange or the inside is orange it's orange for me <laughs> So I'm just gonna go like that. All right. Okay. Still, we'll be using our green color. And we'll just sketch the peel. This orange is quite or half open or half uh, half a uh, peel and we're gonna color this part with some green oxide or again whatever green that you have because we're still in that underpainting stage so don't you worry too much we'll be painting over this later and I'm also being quite random when it comes to painting this because I want to create already those natural patterns in an orange peel okay. like that like that also here we'll be coloring some greeny colors here 
Now get your black, get your black while our green is still um, wet. So just outline the orange. using the black following the curves of um, the orange you know guys it's actually weird to be telling you it's orange fruit because uh, it's a citrus fruit yeah but it's not really orange like um, it's not really the orange typical orange fruit I'll just call it dalandan I don't know guys if you know if you know that fruit, in my country we call it dalandan. I don't know, maybe in your country too. Maybe it's an international term. I'm going to find out and write it in the title of this uh, video. So you probably saw in the title already. Alright, so that's the underpainting. It's quite dark green, right? So we're going to underpaint first. Um, we're going to underpaint next, I mean the inside or the fruit itself so get your cad orange I mean get your orange and mix it with cad yellow maybe add a tiny bit of black to tone it down and we're just gonna underpaint the inside So underpaint the inside so it's muted orange when we add black to any color tiny bit of black the color becomes muted which for me is really good when painting natural things so I'm gonna get my CAD yellow and paint this side quite lighter You can paint over the sketch because um, we won't we won't be needing that line here. We will be using a different color. All right, get your orange quite dark this side. Again, orange. And again, yellow, just to cover properly those sketch lines that we did. All right, like that. So it's going to be like that. Okay. All right. For this side, this will be the orange peel. So we will be painting it quite browny because the light is not um, heating this part. So it will be quite browny. So get your cad yellow, your orange, and then your black. Again, your black. Oops, that's too much. I'm going to add more orange to that. Maybe this color. And I'm going to, yes, this color. Just um, underpaint first. And we'll be go. We'll be detailing later. We will be detailing later. So don't you worry too much if it does not, or it's not making sense right now. Again, same color so same color orange yellow and black to make it quite browny I'm not using burnt sienna for this because uh, burnt sienna is quite a fixed color um, I want to mix my color so that I can still see um, 
through my brush strokes the other colors that I'm mixing let's say yellow I can still see yellow even if you don't really see it but up close I can see it all right like that this will be the inside part now get your black you don't need to wash your brush well just get your black and let's make some depth here Again, black and maybe here just to separate the orange peel from the main the, the fruit all right again this is the underpainting you can get your orange orange and blend like that and we will be glazing later so that everything is lighter so I'm putting some orange here randomly to suggest um, the natural markings inside the orange peel like that all right wash your brush out actually we're done underpainting it now we're going to proceed with detailing which is my favorite part everything every single time whether i am painting for my own pleasure or whether i am teaching that's my favorite part so now get your cad yellow cad yellow get your greeny color so make some yellow green but it should be more yellow than anything else water it down and just apply it here randomly randomly guys just look at how i how i do this one and of course i'll be using my fingers by the way guys when you use your hand in painting like contact direct contact wash your hands <laughs> um i just wash my hands because i don't want to dirty my my painting so i'm gonna apply some yellowy color here okay now get your dark green phthalo green or sap green whatever you have water it down and apply it again randomly you can add black to your green so that it's quite dry it's quite dark maybe this and as you can see the way i'm doing this i'm just tapping so that I create some markings because if you uh, swipe it like that you're just gonna get a clean stroke clean blending which I don't really like when it comes to painting natural things okay get your black and just outline the peel like that like that Okay, and mix your black with your green and try to outline again the peel by making some irregular outlines. All right, like that. And it's gonna be like that for now. All right, wash your brush out. We're gonna go back to that later. Let's just allow it first to dry. Okay. Now get your cad yellow. I think I already ran out of cad yellow. So I'm just gonna get my cad yellow. Mix it with a tiny bit of orange to create some yellow orange color. I'm gonna add white to that to make it more visible. When we add white to any color, the color becomes more um, uh, visible or opaque. So I'm going to use this light yellow orange color to outline this area. Like that. Then maybe here as well. Alright. And 
here. Maybe add a little orange here. And use your fingers. And I'm going to water down this color. I'm going to apply it here. It's really watered down, guys. Watered down to create that watercolor effect. All right. And I'm going to use the same here. Add more orange this time. You see how watery my, my paint is? That's how I do some techniques, guys. It's really watery and I like it. Okay, like that. And I'm gonna allow that to set in. So we're gonna transfer or we're gonna uh, wash our brush out and make um, or get another color, which is cad yellow. You can add tiny bit of white, tiny bit of orange and black. This tiny bit, guys. And I'm gonna go around this area. All right, so like this. You can also alternately use some orangey color and yellow to create some more natural patterns like this. Just follow it, follow the, the line. like that maybe here like that okay and again here okay Get your orange again. Alright, like that. Okay, wash brush out. Now I want you to get your yellow orange. Add yellow to your orange water it down and we're gonna go inside the orange peel and make some markings like this really water down Okay, wash your brush out now. For now, it's gonna be like that. Let's allow it to set in. Get your brownie color. Brown, just mix or blend. All right, get your black and water it down. It's like glazing this area, some black color. And the purpose of which is to suggest absence of light or darkness get your pure black this time outline this area and down here Okay, wash your brush out. Get your pure orange and allow the black paints uh, or the black paint that still that is still in your paintbrush to mix with the orange so that we get that darky orange. Darky. <laughs> and I'm just gonna outline this part. Alright, and then I'm gonna blend. You can use your fingers to blend like that and then I'm gonna darken this portion all 
All right, now get your white. You don't have to wash your brush. Mix with a tiny bit of yellow. And I want you to use the tip of the brush, or maybe you can change your brush. I'm gonna try this first, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna change my brush. And now let's create some um, patterns. Okay, I think this can work. Okay, I might change my brush later so that I can add some smaller details or finer details. Okay, get your pure white. Okay. Maybe add some yellowy colors. This is not yet the final thing. We're just trying to get that general look first. And I'm gonna make some light orange. I'm going to mix my existing white with my orange and make some tiny detailing here. All right, like that. And then let's go back to doing some more. Some more details. And the techniques that I'm using are just dabbing and gently making some markings. Then I'm going to mix my cad yellow with white, a lot of it, and I'm going to go back to detailing this. But again, do not um, overdo this step. Just dab and randomly apply those tiny bits of white here and there. All right, I'm going to water it down and make some dabbing here. Like that. Okay, again. So I'm using a watered down mixture of yellow and orange and then dabbing it here. Just like that. Okay, that's the first step. Wash your brush out. We're gonna make some detailing now. So get your orange. Okay, plus black. 
like this. And we're gonna go in between those slices of orange. And darkening some areas. have to make some adjust adjustment all right like that darkening here all right like that wash your brush out I'm gonna let it dry for a while now I want you to get again your light yellow mixture by combining cad yellow plus white let's make some more detailing all right here like that make some dots And get your orange and just highlight this area. All right, push your brush out. Get your black and orange and make this area quite dark because I feel like it's not creating the depth that I want. That's too black, I think. So you can add orange just to adjust. And again, we will be adjusting this later. We will be glazing. Okay, you wash your brush out. Get your cad yellow. Water it down and apply it here. Oops. All right, like that. Like that. All right. My paint is still wet. That's why. It's not working. All right. So again, get your orange just to repair that. Get your orange, I mean your tad yellow. And of course your hearing again. The usual sound in the background. So get your tad yellow plus white. And just dab it on here creating those hairs I'm calling those hairs I don't know if they are hair Gonna dab on some white. 
So similar to my previous tutorial, this is also a one subject painting, meaning um, we focus more on detailing it more than creating a lot of subjects in one picture. So I'm making some hairy, hairy parts here. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it hair, although I'm not sure if that's really hair. So get your cad yellow again and make some more detailing here. All right, now using your cad yellow, I'm gonna mix that with my existing green. So I'm gonna highlight some areas. like that some areas will be quite yellow greeny and i'm using my fingers again to blend because yeah you know me get your orange here Like that. All right, get your brown, meaning a combination of orange plus black and yellow. Just darken this portion. Okay, I'm gonna get my dark greens. So get your greens, any any green, sap green, phthalo green, add black to that, add black to your greens, and make some, okay, maybe add more black. Tiny markings. Oops. And just dab it on to the peel or to the skin. dab to create that markings okay now i'm gonna get my green oxide and i'm just gonna glaze this part with some green oxide and again get your black and then dab on some tiny details Fix this part. Okay, and here. All right. Okay, wash your brush out now. I think I have to widen that yellowy part. So get your yellow orange, like this yellow orange, and I'm just gonna go here. Again, orange and yellow combine. Just go around uh, the already existing yellow highlights that we just did. Just go around that area. All right, and then I'm gonna apply some orangey colors here to make it more natural looking, you know that? like that and maybe here as well some bits of yellow and orange all right 
Now I'm gonna get my black and just darken this area. So just glaze. Glaze, guys. Okay, here as well. All right. I hope this is dry. Now we're gonna use our palette knife only for detailing. So get your palette knife, uh, whatever size, guys. If your painting is quite big, then you use a bigger palette knife. Me, I'm using a, what's the size of this? Uh, I'm using a canvas paper that is um, 15 and three quarters by 15 and three quarters. So that's the size of this canvas paper. So I'm just using a medium size palette knife for this one. So get your palette knife, get your white plus a combination of your CAD yellow. Maybe add a tiny bit of black to tone it down a bit. Oh, that's too gray and almost greenish. I'm going to add more white to that. All right. And just tap, tap, and then make some, uh, use your palette knife and just use it to create those hair hair like patterns on your orange the more irregular it is the more natural looking you will get i mean your painting <laughs> not you guys <laughs> oops it's too much i don't know if i'm gonna allow that or i'm just gonna delete it yeah maybe like that so i'm gonna create some Patterns. Like that. Here as well. All right. I think that's good. I think that's good, right? Okay. Now get again. I use the side of your palette knife and create some texture like that maybe here okay that's nice okay set it aside i mean your palette knife then get your permanent yellow d it's transparent yellow Uh, get your transparent yellow again if you don't have a transparent yellow just get your cad yellow maybe add tiny bit of orange and water it down and use that in glazing so i'm just gonna glaze some areas here you know it is transparent so later on you will be seeing the orange peeking through Now I'm going to use this transparent or yellow down here. I'm going to add water. And I'm going to remove it. And here. Like that. And here. This is not a glazing medium, it's also paint, only that it's quite transparent. Again, as an alternative, use your CAD yellow and then um, add a tiny bit of orange and then add a lot of water to get that um, transparency. Get your titanium white and mix that with your CAD yellow.
right like that maybe here okay get or make some brown by combining orange plus black okay I need more orange all right like this and add some yellows whatever yellow you have just create some brownie color you can even use red and black and then I'm just gonna apply it here make it making it more brownie so apply some brownie spots on the skin that here all right wash your brush out now I'm gonna get my black all right like this this amount this thin amount and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to make it grayish and we're going down We're going to make some kind of a shadow. And we're going to extend that shadow up here. I mean, up to here. Like that. All right. I'm going to water it down, apply some more grayish, grayish, um, applications here All right, like that and don't you worry we'll be painting over it All right, like that. okay like that now I want you to get your pure titanium white your titanium white guys All right and I'm gonna apply that pure titanium white here it's like covering what we already did but in fact we're not totally covering it we're just trying to lighten some areas. Okay. Here. Try to lighten a bit. All right. Now get your black. Now get your orange. And here. Again, your black. Right, and now get your phthalo green. Alright, like that. Maybe add some tiny markings here. Wash your brush out. I hope it's 
All right, it's quite dry now. Now get your permanent yellow. And I'm just gonna lighten this area. Just glaze. Get your pure white and go back to some of those hairs. Highlight some areas. All right, wash your brush out, get your orange again. And I'm gonna shade this area with some orange. Especially this part, I think I made it quite dark here. All right, and get your cad yellow. Okay, so I'm just playing with some orange and yellow here and there. Push your brush out. I'm gonna get my pure white and I'm gonna go here like that. So this is just pure titanium white. And of course, you can clean some areas. If you went outside the line, just clean those areas. Okay, now get your cad yellow again. And make this skin quite yellowish get your greens make this side quite greenish so just learn how to blend and mix Okay, get your black and then orange to create some brownie color. All right, and then 
water down your orange. Get your cat yellow. And if the orange is mixing, it's all right. Get your orange. Orange plus black. Just to define again this area. Oh, this is nice. Right? I think this is nice. Okay, make some more um, yellow markings here. Like that. And you can fix the shape of the orange. I mean, of this fruit by making it quite fat or big depends on you like that I think I have to make some more detailing here more hairs And highlighting some areas some more okay. Okay, get your black and make some more dark markings So make the skin more natural by applying some random markings. Like that. Okay, get your black again. True white. Just separate. Like that. Okay, make some yellow green colors. Wash your brush out. Here, make it quite yellowy. Like that. And then make some orangey colors. Okay. 
and maybe just define this one because we forgot to define it there are a lot of colors going on in here as i told you even if it's just a one subject painting there's a lot of things going on and i kind of like that fact because you know me guys i love still life paintings so we're almost done to be honest okay wash your brush out make some yellow markings dot and here start making it more natural looking I kind of like it right I kind of like it guys then get your yellow just one more tiny detailing here all right this is really good okay I think we're done I'm gonna sign it now guys so I'm just gonna use my black and sign it here yay <laughs> we're done guys we're done guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this one i hope you like it and i hope you do this one so if you do this one let me know huh <laughs> okay guys <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm.